All right, today on the channel, we're gonna learn how to play Feel the Shake by Jet Boy in this easy beginner rock guitar lesson. Let's go. All right, welcome back to the video here. So uh, this lesson kind of directly relates back to a video I made last week called How to Play Guitar uh, Over 40. I'll link that video uh, up here if you want to check that out. Now, obviously, if you're not over 40, if you're under 40, you can play it, but it just talks about, it, this is a great song that uh, kind of goes over some of the concepts I was talking about in that video. So if you want to skip any part of this and forget about me babbling, you can go down. I'll put a channel thing in the description here. Uh, you can skip right ahead to the lesson. Uh, but a couple things to note. So this song only uses four chords in the whole song. Uh, it's a very kind of slow tempo, very good for beginners. Like I said, it uses four chords, um, and it's going to teach you a couple of things. It's a, it's a good song to learn on how to change chords, right? If you're just learning how to change chords, this is a great song for that. Uh, it's also going to teach you how to use pi some picking techniques as far as not pressing so hard, you know, going gently on the strings and then being aggressive on the strings without having to move your volume knob at all. So uh, like I said, the song is in standard tuning. If you're not familiar with this song, I'll put a link in the description uh, to YouTube and you can kind of check it out. These guys came out in the late 80s, uh, early 90s. They were an excellent band, very ACDC-esque. A lot of the same chords, a lot of the same groove, just, just a great, great band. So, all right, let's zoom in and get started here. All right, now that we're zoomed in, so let me show you the basic chords that you're going to need just so my volume doesn't. Uh, you're going to need to know a B power chord. Now you can play this a couple of different ways. Um, I'm playing this just with my pinky and I'm actually only using two of the strings. I'm using putting my first finger on the A string here at the second fret and I'm putting my pinky at the fourth fret of the D string. You can play it right covering all of them, but again, if you're just starting, this is a great way, at least for me, to play songs like this. Um, so that's the way I'm doing this chord here. Just a two, two string chord. So you'll need the B, an E uh, five chord, which is just open E, uh, first finger on the second fret of the A, and second fret of the D. You're gonna to need to know a D chord and an A chord, which that's it. So that's the A. So the, the A is just one, you just move your finger down a set of strings and kind of mute the E here. So that's the four chords, B, E, D, and A. That's the whole song. All, only these four chords are in the whole song. So if we start, when we started out, like I said, this is gonna be, you'll notice I want you to pay attention to my volume knob on my bridge pickup, which is right here. You'll notice that I'm not going to adjust it at all. I'm not going to go up or down or anything. So in the intro to this song, it starts off with a very light, kind of a clean sound. It goes. So what I'm doing there is I'm hitting the B uh, chord I'm going I'm just lightly like I'm holding my pick very lightly almost to the point where it's falling out of my hand so that way when I go across the strings it's not all aggressive and chunky sounding so you're going to go then lift up your first finger then back down then an e then take off your pinky so it's so that's the intro then when he comes in from doing the clean part on the very last one he hits an open E power chord. Now you can do it this way, or you could do it this way. 
I prefer this way. But you'll notice how I didn't touch my volume knob. Right? Then when it goes in after that, the uh, then you go back to the clean part. Right, so he they do this a couple times. The then when he starts singing, back to the clean part. That's the whole verse when he's singing. Now when he goes into the chorus, he goes. So you're going from the, you're doing the same thing, the, then that's when you go to the D, and then A. And during the, the chorus, when he says, feel the shake, you're palm muting uh, the, the E chord like this. So I'll demonstrate. You do that like three times, and then you go. Again, notice I'm not touching my volume knob at all. Now, during a solo or whatever, obviously you'd, you'd want to raise it up, but you don't need, you want to learn how to use your volume knobs the proper way, right? So you don't have to rely on pedals or real quickly doing, you know, turning it low, turning it, going back high, because sometimes it's hard to get that exact spot. So if you find your spot in the beginning and you just lightly pick it, that's basically the whole song, the chorus. Now, there's one last part uh, in the, towards the end after the solo when he, they just keep saying, feel the shake, feel the shake. So that's like this. So you're just on that B chord and you're palm muting it. You're doing the same thing that you did in the beginning. The Instead of going to the E, you're just staying on the B. Whoops. Now to end that, you do this, you go. So again, the same chords, let me play it for you slow. Then right back into the... That's it. That's literally the whole song. Like I said, it's a very easy song to learn. Very good for a beginner uh, to learn it. Definitely check this song out if you haven't heard it before. All right, so that'll do it for this lesson today on Jet Boys Feel the Shake. Uh, I appreciate you watching. Take care.